Hello, this is Jay, and welcome back after a bit of a break to Racketeer. Now, let's see. We have some outstanding orders. Three weapons by today. Gee, that's, um, really hard. I think I'll just give him three clubs. Okay. Yep. Uh, yeah, it can be very annoying to sort out the uh, uh, store merchandise. Especially if, like me, you are OCD and do not like to duplicate things. Um, sailor suit? Do we have that anywhere else? Mm, no. Okay, right. Because we have no Dungeoneering today, because it's Sunday, let us open the store. Get everything out of the way. Get some more money. Oh, God. Ugh. Thank you, Yuria. Three foodstuffs? Hell yeah, we can do that. So yeah, um, one of the things I was going to actually talk about was... Rekitia. Shonen or Shuju. Um, by the way, uh, Shonen is boys' comics, which are generally action-oriented. And Shuju is girls' comics, which are generally uh, relations-oriented. Hmm, tough question. And... The answer is actually... both. Because, after all, the, um, the shuju elements would, of course, be the shopkeeping... Oh, bracelet. The shopkeeping, the... You know, the stories of the characters, uh, many, of, many of the stories are, you know, standard shuju fair. Oh! Oh, ever so sorry. Oh no! She really is poor. Anyway, while the shonen elements, of course, would be the absolutely bonkers enemies. The, uh... Something warm. I keep getting distracted, don't I? Oh god, Uh, yeah, the absolutely bonkers enemies, the over-the-top weapons, and that sort of thing. Prices for clubs are falling rapidly. I wonder why. Um. So, uh... Yeah, let's just double check this. We we haven't caused a run on a single item yet, but yeah. Basically, if you sell enough of one item, it will no longer be high priced. And you will be a bit buggered. Uh, so yeah, Shonen, Shuju, uh, probably pronounced those horribly wrong and people will beat me up. Um, but yeah, the game has elements of both. And let's go see if there's any events, because there weren't earlier, but there's an event! Alright, let's get some events on. Oh dear. Konnichiwa. Nan 
だよ。や、あん。Of course, if this were a shuju anime, it would be very much like Azumanga Daio, i.e., completely bonkers, and yet so heartwarming. Um. Hey, another magical hat, and another wing charm. Why not? Might as well make these trips actually useful. Uh. Books, 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 books. They're low priced at the moment. Take them all. Um. Oh well, if we're lucky, we'll get a Fermin star or something. So once again, we check for events. No events. Okay. Since there's no events, we can sell stuff. Let's sell stuff. Oh god, Yuria and Nagi again. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, by this point in the game, there's not actually a hell of a lot to talk about because, after all, there's all the main mechanics have been done. Most of the boss monsters, well, they're there, you know. Uh, ring, meditation ring. There we go. And most of the characters have come in.、Uh, although it is interesting when we get an event, because after all, we found out that yeah, Charm could very well be a princess, and Griff is still a big old emo boy. Okay, I I only just caught. Seeing that, but apparently the old man has been looking for a sailor suit for a very long time. Old man, you were cool, but now you're just freaking creepy. Right? Yeah. Go take your sailor suit and go away. Nagi, you're looking for a weapon. Let's see if we can somehow get you a whale killer. Oh no! Yeah, yeah I can pull that off. I've already got about five full blades or something. How much for this? That much. Yeah. The price of long swords has increased. The focus staves boom has ended. Meh. First annual radish. I think we sold demon bane. We did. We could get another full blade or whatever. Uh. Ace's bow, and still no events. You know what? No, I would be a doofus and do something like that, but no. All right, let's get rid of some apples. It won't actually get rid of them because people don't tend to buy things when they're high priced. But ah, speaking of the emo boy, two cold weather clothes in two days. Yeah, I got fur robes. It's 
it's no problem. Young man wants a demon bane? I don't blame him. Near pin, not bad. Yeah, I think there's only one more, one or two more level things. Um, uh, merchant level things. And uh, the characters, I'm going to be exploring them in bonus videos, to be honest. Um, I have explained them, sort of. Um, but yeah, I might go into them in, you know, final bonus videos once we've done this. Um, don't hold me to that. Because uh, even with 30 dungeon levels left to go, uh, yeah, like I said, there's, there's not much to talk about. So, uh, yeah. Although it's nice that we've reached the 2 million mark. That is one mechanic I can talk about. Yes. That is actually useful. I will talk about that after taking a quick recording break, though. One moment. Wait for the news. Oh god, not another holy boom. To research food safety. Okay, and we're back, and yeah, here's something interesting about the mechanics. I did actually forget about it. Right. Yes. Now, certain things make the game absolutely broken. Um, for example, once you have um, vending machines without limit, you can get, obviously, things sold for their base price, which with adventuring stuff that you get for free, effectively. <coughs> Meets you have a license to print money. <coughs> Ever so sorry. Uh, half pay. Adventurers cut in price in half. That can really help you. There was actually... There is actually... Ah, we haven't reached it yet. Basically, level 30, as far as I'm aware, many of the shopkeepers will cut their prices in half. Um, but yeah, once you get to a certain point in the game, around merchant level 20 or so, then the merchant part of the game just loses most of its challenge. We can, however, adventure still, and that definitely hasn't lost its challenge. Um, Hood's outfit... Super armband... Magical hat, because... And blazing charm. Yeah, Dungeoneering gets very unfair, but... Oh. Here we go. Oh, loading. 